Yeah, hi. So I'm Arkhurut Dash, and uh, in this video, I'm going to discuss the second problem, which came in ISAB email at 2023. So without wasting time, let's start. Uh, so uh, we have uh, the problem is here. Uh, so uh, let a not be equals to half. So the first term of the sequence uh, is equal to half, and uh, a n be defined inductively by a n is equals to root over of one plus a n minus one by two n greater than equals to one. Now we have to show that for n equals zero, one, two, and so on. A n is nothing but equals to cos theta n for some theta n between zero to pi by two. And also we have to determine theta n and use uh, part B is using A or otherwise we have to calculate uh, limit n tends to infinity four to the power n one minus uh, A n. Okay. So uh, let's get started. So this is UGB 2023, uh, problem two. Okay, so here uh, A0 is given to be half. So which is basically nothing but cos of pi by three. Now, if A n minus one is equals to cos theta, n minus 1, where theta n minus 1 is from 0 to pi by 2. So just induction. So then a n is nothing but root over of 1 plus a n minus 1 divided by 2 and that is root over of 1 plus cos theta n minus 1 by 2 according to our induction hypothesis and uh, that is equal to root over of uh, so this is coming out to be cos square theta n minus 1 by 2 and that is nothing but cos of theta n minus 1 by 2. Okay. So basically you see that if theta n minus 1 uh, is from 0 to pi by 2, so theta n minus 1 by 2 is also from uh, between 0 and uh, pi by 2. And so basically our uh, theta n becomes nothing but theta n minus 1 by 2. So this is the recurrence relation we are getting. Uh, from our uh, from our uh, th this is the angle uh, I mean the angle uh, theta n so there we are getting this recurrence relation and so now since uh, our starting theta naught has been given to be pi by 3 so then it follows that theta n so we have to determine theta n so it's very easy like uh, theta 1 would be nothing but uh, this is uh, so it would be pi by 3 by 2. Okay, so that means pi by 3 divided by 2. And uh, so each time now next, it would just keep on dividing by 2. So theta n is nothing but pi by 3 times 2 to the power n. Okay, so part 1 is done. Part A is done. And now talk, let's talk about part B. So part B is we have to figure out limit n tends to infinity. 4 to the power n, 1 minus a n, and that is equals to limit n tends to infinity. <coughs> 1 minus cos pi by 3 times 2 to the power n divided by 1 by 4 to the power n. Okay, now since 1 minus cos x is equivalent to x squared by 2 as x approaches 0. So uh, this is just uh, look at the expansion of cos x. Okay, so this is we can write it as uh, limit uh, n tends to infinity. So 
So this is coming out to be pi square by nine times four to the power n and divided by two. So that means 18 times four to the power n divided by one by four to the power n. Okay, and uh, yeah, as n is tending towards uh, infinity, so this limit is basically coming out to be then pi squared by 18. And thus, we are done with our problem two. So uh, that's it for this problem. So uh, if you have any comments or anything, so you can comment down uh, below. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching and stay tuned for the other solutions. I'll be posting them soon. And yeah, that's it for this video. See you in the next one.